everybody, and welcome back to some more Paper Mario! The, the thousand, thousand Year Door! door. <laughs> I'm back from vacation! Yep, you're back from vacation from Glizzyville and from your real life vacation. Yep. We're doing great. Oh. Mario, dear, look alive! That may well be an email from Princess Peach! Do 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 more dudes? Damn, Mario! I've uncovered something terrible! My new ones were, were washed by accident! <laughs> Shit! These things! The x nuts They're planning to take control of the world! It's in the end that they're searching for the crystal stars! I still don't know what the crystal stars do, but they must try to get them all! I will gather what information I can! Princess Peach! Oh, those nudes are weird. <laughs> yeah, they have a got big, like, you know what, like, when you get water wet, it makes that, like, weird wrinkle thing and the color just fades? Uh, That's what happened. She dropped in the bathtub when she was showering. <laughs> they wish to rule the world? Well, I refuse to bow to such megalomaniacs. Cool! There's a gray here. Well, next thing's next is we're gonna go to the crystal star door. Got that was in your door. Oh. Have we been here? Oh. Hold on. We need Yoshi, our Yoshi. Alright, buddy. Okay. Oh, a shiny sprite! Yeah. What's in this? Hi. The Twilight Town? Where the fuck is Twilight Town? The pipe rejected you. Damn, rejected by a fucking pipe. <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> Wait, can you break the block? Uh, I don't think my hammer's strong enough. Nope, not strong enough. That, like, do you need like the bomb to do that? Maybe. Okay, I think. Huh? 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 Where the fuck am I? Oh. Oh, it's the town. Huh. It doesn't seem to open. This is a treasure chest. Do they have a badge. Maybe. Soft on. It's preferably to make enemies soft. <laughs> I can make you soft. I don't like that. <laughs> okay, there's nothing over here. Is there anything else in these waters? You know what? He's about to drown in there. No, nah, he's fine. Okay, he can't jump. <laughs> Anything else over here? Uh, can, you, oh! can you break that uh, thing with your... What, the, the thing? Yeah. Break that with your hammer? No, looking by the crack on it, it's probably a bomb. Uh-uh. Hello? Yo, Eddie the Mask here, sports fan extraordinaire. Know about stylish moves? I do know about stylish moves. This was a hey, perfect timing during an attack to pull up a stylish move. If you do it just right, the crowds will go nuts! And some attacks even have multiple ones. Each attack does some different time with stylish moves, but I'll share one with you. Practicing A before Gumbella leaps onto the air to do her. Well, okay. Sounds horrible, it ain't easy. That's why you gotta practice, yo. Someone gave me a tip about stylish moves, about the jumping one. You need to do it in the air before Mario goes down again. Huh. What the fuck are you? Why does he look so nasty? Howdy! My name's Wonky! You know what's funny? The yeah. director uh, of Maple Story, his name is also Wonky, and, he, <laughs> and he's, a, he's a fat fuck. <laughs> my, my name's Wonky, and I just know stuff. I may not look like much, but I know a thing or two. You better believe it. And who knows, the stuff I know may even be stuff that can help you. So if you want to ask me a question, just speak up and ask away. Cool. I know stuff too, seriously. Like, 
When the wind blows, the cradle will fall. I just don't know why it falls, because no one tells me. Does he know stuff? Oh, a visitor, eh? Hey man, this dude knows everything. He'll give you some serious good, good advice. Of course, you have to pay him. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Yo, bartender, I need a milk. Give me a milk. It's a special refuge for all those that we cultivate information. Herb Tea's place. Sit back and enjoy yourself. Alright. Well, we have to pay him. I don't want to pay him. <laughs> Something you want to ask of old Wonky, right? If you pay me five coins, I suppose I can tell you about the Mystic Bag. What the? It's only five coins. <sighs> You know about the pit of a hundred trials down here, right? Yeah. Well, somewhere down there is an item called a strange sack. This thing is great. If you've got it, you can hold up to 20 items. Okay, that actually does sound nice. And you know what that means, my good friend? Easy adventure. No adventure should be without one. Take it from Old Wonky. And that is that. If you need anything else, just ask Old Wonky. All right. Well, there's a pack in the, the trials that we can get. Cool. It's over here. Yoshi. See, Yoshi could jump. He just did it there. Well, I don't think we can jump while riding him. It's just this little hover thing. Yeah. Yo. Oh, hold on. Are you good? I can do this. Okay. <laughs> oh! Look at this shit. Holy shit, that's worth 200? Yeah. I mean, they recover 50. Ah! By gold. Oh, hi there! This is the deep down deep depot! What can I do for you now? Yeah, you get my gold bars. A gold bar. Three gold bars. Uh, three gold bars. I love gold. All right. Gold Roger, King of the Pirates. Said these uh, final words. You Yar. want my treasure? You can have it. <laughs> I've left everything I have in one pin! Get away! That one looks different. The other ones are, huh? the other ones are green. Well, there's an X here. Oh! What did you expect was gonna happen? Cry, piss my pants, maybe. Didn't come. Yo, fucking go for this bitch. Well. They're both dead. One! One! Who must give me one? What? Maybe ground pound there? Maybe. No. Well, we'll figure it out later. Just like the little other thing. Uh oh! Okay, it's a fight. I am so fucking smart. All right, Yoshi. I guess just ground pound that guy. What the fuck? What did I just do? What the heck? Counter attack. I do, I don't know how I did that. That's, I'm really impressed with myself. Damn, I am actually goaded with the fucking sauce! <laughs> Give me that! Oh, you got FP? What's this one? Welcome to Lavender Town! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, there's a thing down there. Oh, it's because I've been pressing A to block. 
I pressed B that one time and it defended. What the heck? Oh. Fuck. Did I just waste four? Yes. Oopsies. Oopsies. My bad. I thought it was this move. <laughs> Yep. I am so fucking smart. Un un um. What what is it called? I got a slow mushroom. Unintentionally Larry. smart. Oh, I see you need a woman with big bazongas. I do. A pipe. Oh! Oh, you're back here. Yep. Well... Right in the house in your door! Yep. Yeah, we made it! I wonder if there's a star piece around here. You think? Maybe. Oh! Gimme. Alright. Come on, Flurry! Yay! I got a gemstone! It looks like it was covered in piss. Oh, the nudes! They're fucking shining right now. I was trying to remember, I was like, I was like, why do you need to come back to the Crystal Star? Why don't you just keep all of them at once? And then I remembered it shows you were in the next one. Yeah, it points to the next one on the map. I guess it's on the boat. I was fucking wrong. <laughs> the clock tower in the woods. It's the red one. Pretty ruby one. Yo, so we're going to fucking uh, throw our bar. You learned Gok Gok 9000. <gasps> I love Gok Gok 9000. That's where the fourth crystal star is. But we'll need Frankly to translate. I suppose we also should tell him what Princess Peach wrote in that recent email. Nudes and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know they're a bit ruined, but you know, maybe he can get a wake out of it. <laughs> I can't get a wank out of this! What? You've never played a pute simulator! <laughs> the girl that kidnapped Princess Peach has been on taking over the world? Correct, theory. And that, you see, is why they need that legendary treasure. The One Piece. Holy shit, the One Piece is real! <laughs> oh, this doesn't bode well. The situation got far more serious than I thought. Let me bring you up to speed. I've been researching just what that treasure could be. One book came across how that I, what I thought was a preposterous theory. This book claimed that the treasure was, in actuality, the Great Cataclysm. A very cataclysm that a thousand years ago that had sank the town underground. So these beans plan to use the power of the, cl the cataclysm to control the world? What the fuck do you think I just said? <laughs> it doesn't say for sure what they did, what they what will or do or why, but we must consider the possibility. But the thing must have come to this, we mustn't let them near the legendary treasure. All that, all that matters, because if we. If they do get it, then once again, this town, no, the entire world can be destroyed. In that case, frankly, we must procure that next crystal star quickly. Uh, according to the map, it looks like the next crystal star is in Twilight Town. Well, uh, no wonder it was rejecting you. Yeah, it was like, you can't go there yet. <laughs> in Twilight Town? What the think I just fucking said? To tell you the truth, I don't know how I'm on much of the place myself, only rumors. I've always heard that, as the name implies, it's particularly dim and eerie there. Why you just a moment? What the fuck did he grab? <laughs> how do you grab it? He doesn't what? have hands. <laughs> uh, 
There appears to be a pipe into Twilight Town somewhere in Rogue Really? I, uh, got it. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! He's actually <laughs> spitting. <laughs> I do believe that somewhere underneath the west part of town, yes, definitely. If you get stuff for any reason, just come back and see me, okay? Frankly, we went into that blasted pipe, but something pushed us right back out. Oh yeah, I guess... What? You can't go through the pipe, you say? How long? Oh, I'm afraid I haven't had the foggiest idea what to do. Wait, I have an idea about what to do! <laughs> oh, of course! I heard that a fellow from Twilight Town lives here in Rockport. If anyone knows how to get through the pipe, it'd be him. His name is, uh, dang, what was it? Oh, the love of the dark place is darkly. I've seen a lawyer around this part of town in the past look for Darkly. We've seen a Darkly, right? I wonder if that was a unique dialogue because we had found it before. I think it it might have been. Uh -oh. Wait, wait, I got an email. Here, important things. Poopsly Coo. Thank you. Dear Poops, come here, Mario Coops. I hope you two are doing okay. I need to make with Coop's guy. I haven't been doing very well. I get lonely. And when I go to Coop's' house and smell that Coop smell, I guess it's your clone or whatever, but it makes me so sad. I've gotten used to your smell, Coop's. Oh, and the thing is, your dad, Coopley, has his own smell, and it's weird. I think maybe it's the smell of Hooktail's guts. It's disgusting. Now I engrossed myself out. Oh, and since he's gonna be my dad too someday, I better get used to that smell, huh? Oh, what am I writing? I'm so embarrassed, but send I'm sending this anyway. He he he. Look, Goobly Coo. Oh. Just going in her house and smelling this shit. Yeah, it's like me when you were gone. I, oh. I went and raided through your stuff and I said. You did? No. Oh. oh. That guy looks suspicious. Is this the person who wants to be like a bug? Yeah. Did, did, didn't you talk to this person before? <laughs> yeah. They were like, like I want to be a dung beetle. Yeah, he's like, this is my favorite. <laughs> Hi there. My name is Darkly. Do you guys need something? Huh? You want to know how to get through the pipe to Twilight Town? Yeah. Couldn't be easier. You just need to have something that has your name written on it. Don't you have anything that has your name written on it? Come on, everyone does. No, really? Okay, hang on. I'll write it on you. What's your name? Mario, huh? Okay, I'll write it down in the sea of your overalls. M-A-R-I-O, right? He's writing on his ass. Yeah. <laughs> there, perfect amundo. While I'm at it, I'll write your partner's name, too. What's your name? Depends on who's asking. For you, I am Flurry Heart. I'm trying on your boob. <laughs> Mmm, a bit to the left. <laughs> I don't know what Aaron is taking into Twilight Town, but I hope it goes well. I'll be rooting for you. We now we can go in there. That was easy. That was a really easy. <laughs> well, I guess the easiest way is just go to the west side and just go through the crack again. Yeah. Oh wait, we gotta find them. Where is he? Where's oh, Luigi? Fucking Luigi. What do you mean? Fucking Luigi. I have been talking in his voice for like 10 minutes. I don't remember the remember the, the exact voice you gave him. There he is! He's got a he's got a fucking ball mob with him. Look how cute. Let's get Combella to tattle on the thingy. Let's talk to the guy first. Hi, I guess. I'm Jerry. I'm the bum from Plum Belly Village. Nice to meet you. Sorry, I sound so down, but you have gotta be too if you saw Luigi dressed as a bride. I'm serious, it scared- it scarred me. It was honestly it was scarier than that giant snake thing. I feel... I now have a moral duty to stop Luigi from ever dressing as a bride again. I have to protect the world from my fate. That's why I'm sticking close to this guy. Wait, isn't it, isn't it, like, in the canon for Mario, like, in a comic that Luigi dressed up as Princess Peach and got an address and everything? Probably. Alright, Gimbella, tell me about him. That's Jerry, Luigi's palm op buddy. He's a little different from most palm ops. He's really burning with a righteous fire, and I think he's seen some horrible things. <laughs> Speaking of which, I wonder if I'll ever be a bride. <laughs> 
All right, Luigi. Yeah, Mario. Let's fuck. I mean, what? What? Well, I got my second piece of the marvelous compass at Plumpberry Village recently. Oh boy, I really got my hands dirty on that one. I'll tell you what, it was pretty wild, bro. You want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Yes. Hey, sounds good to me. <laughs> Which part of my story you want to hear, bro? Uh, I guess the Plumbelly Village. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. Okay. Once we made landfall on the Strudel Continent, we made for Plump Belly Village. Once we got there, though, we immediately noticed that something was wrong. Yeah? We learned from the mayor that the town was ruled by a giant snake named Hizza. He said his own daughter was going to be offered up as a sacrifice to his beast, too. What, to get eaten or to, like, marry off? So, of course, being heroic, I offered myself up to go in her stead. Brave, huh? Now, the custom was for sacrifices to be dressed as brides, so I got all dolled up. You know me. I was one hot sacrifice, bro. <laughs> I looked so good, I pulled our foes and got in his lair. It was kind of rough fighting in that gown, but I managed. Piffon really chased, bro. Oh my god. Finally found his, uh, and the snake had a second head on its tail. Talk about scary. I fainted real quick, but when I came to, I managed to distract both heads. It reared up, fangs bared to attack, and at that moment, I definitely lunged left. His gaping mouth smashed into one another, and he vanished in a cloud of smoke. A shining plate fell down on the spot where his body had been coiled. Yes! Another compass piece! I set it and it pointed east. Circuit Break Island. Just as I was about to ha leave town, the mayor asked me to stay and marry his daughter. Thought about it. She was sort of cute. But we ended up sneaking off the next morning. I mean, I still have to save Princess Eclair from the Chestnut King. And when the marvelous compass activated this time, I heard somebody's voice. It was so beautiful, bro. I'm certain it was Princess Eclair's voice. <gasps> My heart but began to race. That's when I realized it. Princess Claire, I think I... Uh... Oh, I kind of zoned out there, um... So yeah, we set sail after ditching town. And somehow we managed to get back here to Rogueport. And here I am. I loved it. If you want to hear what I've been up to, just come find me, okay? I'll be around. I love it, Luigi. You did great. I also had sex with this bomb mom. Whoa! <laughs> All right, Goombella. I need, I need Yoshi. Get the fuck out of here, Goombella. I can open the door. <laughs> <laughs> All right, to Twilight Town. To Twilight Town. You think it? You think it's like Twilight? Shut the fuck up. You think there's gonna be werewolves? Maybe. Chapter four. Thriller bark. <laughs> for pigs, the bell tolls. Yep. Yep. For pigs, the bell tolls. I gotta say, Princess Peach on the coin looks like Daisy. Yeah. Maybe because of the the orangish like tone. Look, there's piggies. Is that darkly? No, just is another guy that looks like him. Ugh, this place gives me the creeps. Is this Twilight Town? Hey. It's been a long time since anyone's come from outside. You've come from far away? Yeah, those clothes are yours. I'm pretty sure you guys must be adventurers, right? This is a bad time to arrive. But you're adventurers. Maybe it's perfect time. Wait, what? A bad time? What do you mean by that? Come on, tell me. Oh, gee whiz, I don't know. It's a scary tale to hear and scarier to tell, too. Uh-oh, the bell rang again. Oh, this is so awful. Who could it be now? Link, link, link. He's a pig? Whoa, that is the craziest thing I've ever seen. What's going on in this weirdo town? Oh, the badness. Now poor Freddy's got turned to a pig and not good. I'm old! <laughs> Who are you, Gramps? I'm the mayor of this poor town. Some call me Dower. Is that what it says? 
Yeah, I guess so. Tower, yeah. I'm not exactly the sharpest fellow, but I do believe you're adventurers, right? This isn't the place for telling of tales, sadly. Come, come to my house. I like to know. Why does it look like he's a doll with the trunk taken out of his head? My traveling friends, welcome to Twilight Town. Well, I like to welcome you. But Wait, welcome. Dad, I'm pulling this gun on you. Give yes, me all your money. Give me everything in the bag. <laughs> but welcoming people is generally a good thing, and there's nothing but bad here. As you may have guessed, our town has been cursed. Bum, bum, bum. What? Cursed? Yes, cursed. That is the right word, right? Yes, of course it is. You see, beyond town is a forest, and in its heart is an ancient building, the creepy staple. The dark creature who lives there, it curse or ordeans that when the stumble bell rings, one of the twilighters living here in the village becomes a pig. Will my loved ones become swine? Will I too become a curly tail oinker? I hope so. <laughs> I want to roll around in the mud and not be looked at. <laughs> I'm so worried. I can't sleep at night. Of course, night and day are pretty similar here. If this keeps up, well, the villagers will be one giant pig pen, which would be bad. Let me give you one piece of advice. One piece? Oh, one piece of <laughs> Leave us. Leave before you two get pigified. Dun dun dun. Not gonna happen, Gramps. We're looking for something really important. What the fuck am I sticking my thing in? Okay. Maybe you heard of it. It's a, it's a star shaped rock called the Crystal Star. Uh, I don't know about any Crystal Star thing, but in Creepy Staple, there's a glittery red stone shaped like a star. Oh, are you serious? That's gotta be the Crystal Star. Gotta be. Ah, uh, you people. You don't think you're going to Creepy Staple, are you? <laughs> Unthinkable. Well, we have to. It's our job! <laughs> oh, a bunch of piggies. All the piggies. This guy's not a pig. Living in dark place. It's so depressing, you know? I don't really care if I get turned into a pig or not. Damn. Damn. He's just like me, for real, for real. Call, call, call! Alright, cool. I'm glad the birds got a line. There's an inn. But I think we're good on healing. Go ahead and save. I'm not doing that. It's okay. Let's see. I forgot. Perfect. Little piggies. Point, point. Point. Point, point. Oh, look. Little babies. Mommy, I'm hungry. Food, please. I haven't been able to buy food for my children since my husband turned into a pig. <coughs> now they're all so hungry. What should I do? Mommy, I'm hungry. Food, please. Kind traveler, if you have some spare food, could you share it with us? Of course. Uh, I got this normal mushroom. No, oh, thank you so much. You've made my children very happy. And me as well. It's not much, but please take this as thanks. Ooh! Mushroom for a shooting star, that's good. Oh, and kind traveler, where do you hail? Oh. Ain't no way! Uh oh. Boink, boink. Hey, are pigs good eating? They're gonna eat their parent. Hey, pigs, my mommy! Mommy, you're a piggy! The other two kids are concerned, the other one was like, you think you think we can make some bacon out of mom? <laughs> yeah, you, th you think mom will taste good? Yeah. Okay, pumpkins. Oh, there's something going on pumpkins. there. Do, 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 Oh, pumpkin <laughs> Oh, hi. Wink, wink. Oh, a customer. 
I'm sorry, but we're not open right now. What happened? Oh, why am I crying? My husband turned into a pig. A pig. Oh, my husband went to the woods yesterday to collect herbs. But no husband came back and said a pig returned this pig. He got in a fight before he left and I called him a scabbiest pig. And now he really is a pig. And he has a sweet sheet tied to and the customers should be rude to the customer. Oh shit, ah! And then dip in the coin and then I really tell him no matter what and I don't think I can- Oh shit! Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, are you even listening? How could you figure out some way to restore my husband back to normal? I'll do whatever I can to help. You can even take anything in the storage room that might help you, you know. Well, we don't have a key to it. So maybe we'll find that later. You're going way too fast. What's <laughs> in here? Empty house. Big mysteries! Big mysteries. This guy looks ominous. Yes, I'm a novelist, and I read several books a day. Not all pop-up books, either. I wonder if pigs can read. I'm a little concerned about it, to be honest. Hey, can I can I leave town? A nasty monster lives in the woods past here. I'm serious. That's why somebody. That's what somebody said. If you still want to go through, even after you hear this, you need to get the mayor's permission. Oh man, the old monster beyond that town gate thing? Ain't that kind of cliche? You gotta be kidding me. Fine, let's go ask. Alrighty. Once we get his permission, we can probably end the episode. <coughs> oh. yeah. Whoa, the bell rang, Mario. Does that mean someone's gonna... Boy, I'm psyched. It wasn't my turn to get pigged. Hey, yo, she becoming a pig. Who's this house, right? Yeah, yeah. I I was just about to say, uh -oh. what if the mayor's the one who got pigified? Whoa, well, this ain't no good. What do you think? Do you think this this pig is the mayor? What are we gonna do now? We need that dude's okay to pass through the gate. Can we just be like, hey, so your mayor's a pig now? How many times does this fucking bell go off? Well, this was pretty fun. Is the innkeeper a pig? No, this guy's fine. Nice place. Refresh your body and soul at our Twilight Inn. Our rate is 10. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> we need some rest after the mayor got turned into a pig. Makes us feel better. Yeah. Good for my mental. Oh! Did you sleep well? We'll have a nice twilight. Look! Huh. A peachy peach! We'll punish 1 HP and 2 FP. Okay. Maybe we can turn that into juice when we get back. Alrighty! I guess in the next one we'll be like, hey, so your mare is a pig now? Can we go through the gate? <laughs> yeah. He he said oink. Yeah, that, if that means has any bearing. I think that means okay in pig. <laughs> yep. What's the what's the um pig Latin? Oh yeah. Yeah, they, he said okay in pig Latin. Yeah. But anyway, oh. my name is Phoenix. That was Cameron, and I guess we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye.